Welcome back folks to Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. Uh, this is actually my first uh, play, th my first part of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby for uh, about a month actually. Uh, I took a bit of time off to do another Let's Play actually. Well, a few. Anyway, in the last episode we caught two new Pokemon. First we caught Etna, uh, the Nummel, and then we caught Binu, Skarmory. Now I said I was going to level up uh, Binu to level 24, but I just got carried away and leveled him up to level 25. Oh no. What a shame. Anyway, let's carry on. Puff Puff. Oh, we only got two in. I didn't even get to do my Puff Puff song. Spin there. Okay, level 15. Come on, Etna. Etna. Magnitude. Magnitude. Oh, not getting as lucky this time. Magnitude 5. Uh, yeah, that's going to do bugger all. Fate attack. That's gonna do even more bugger all. Come on, more magnitude five. Thank you. Magnitude ten, the highest you can get in the game. That'll do it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Etna gains some points, and so does Beano. I've given Beano the experience share just in case, because Beano is a defensive wall, folks. His defense will be amazingly high. Right, Sanchu, level 15. Here comes Etna again. Uh, magnitude again, why not? Magnitude number. Oh, not getting as lucky here. Volume turned up, I think. Just a bit. Just in case I've turned it up a bit more. Magnitude 8. Thank you. Much better. If I got magnitude 8 in the first place, that might have worked. Anyway. So, a little bit of experience for Etna, a little bit for Beanie. Let's carry on. Ah, oh, come on! Bloody too many battles! Another spinner! Level 15! Again! Etna! Let's go Ember this time! See what we can do to it. Half! Tackle does! Near enough nothing! Ember again! And that'll finish spinner off! And we will... Get some more experience! And we're nearly at level 26 actually with, uh... With, uh, with, uh, Etna! He's not so little numble now anymore, is he? Can you guess why it's so cool around here? Well, it shouldn't be. I mean, it's raining ash. It is raining, smouldering ash. You ever been to Plymouth and Montserrat? Horrible. Anyway, Neil takes up, takes on a trap inch. We've got a or a trap inch. We've got Etna, of course. Magnitude, thank you, Magnitude ten. And that trap inch is probably dead. Yeah, it is. Not many things can survive a magnitude 10. Especially, you know, something like that. Not many people can survive it. Okay. We're going to switch out into Binu now. Uh, because we're going to give Binu some experience. So, Linoon. We're going to go... Uh, oh, we've got to go Headbutt. All right. Ooh, we're going Headbutt. We're going to go Peck. Okay, damage. I think I'm going to actually make Binu learn that... Um, Steel Wing, because there's no other Pokemon in my team that's going to be able to learn that, so we might as well give Binu it early. He, he can learn it. Binu, uh, Skarmory can learn Steel Wing, obviously, it's his trademark, but he learns it late, so I'd much rather him uh, learn it now than learn it later. So I'm going to use a TM early, just so we've got a slight advantage. I do apologize, but that's the way it's going to work. That's the brakes. Binu, Steel Wing. Learn the bloody move. Okay, we're going to get rid of... Probably Agility, because actually, Scarberries have no defense. Have no speed anyway. So, there's no real point in using Agility, even though it does get, he does get quite a few. It's good, good move to have, but nah, not in this case. Right, let's carry on. Ooh, what's up here? Looks like a Pokeball. Oh, it's a Skarmory. Skarmory. Oh, Swift. How's a Skarmory quicker than a Nummel? Nummel's a bloody sly, I bet you. Right, let's finish this off with a Tackle Attack. <laughs> Why not? Got a nice drink of ice cold water here. And it's sand attack and we missed. Agility, that's going to increase Skarmory speed even though it doesn't need to. Oh, come on, Etna. Hit, please. Come on. Ju just once. Hit the move. 
Ow! Thank you. Yeah. Victory for Etna. Etna levels up, level 26. Binu there as well. That's good. Right, we're gonna have to heal up. Uh, we have to heal them up here. Uh, we can use two potions. There you go. There's one. There's the other job done. Right. Did Ziggy have an item? Nope. Good. Okay. Well, not good, but ow. Do, 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 do. Around the ashes I leap. Yeah! I challenge thee. Sure you do. Alright. Right. Ninja Boy Lao. Coughing. Versus Mr. Nummel. Does coughing have levitate? Yes, it does. Just had to make sure of that. It, it did nothing because he missed smog anyway. So, the only weakness that, uh. Oh, right. Ouch. Right, I get it now. Um. Basically, his idea is I'm going to blow up and be a twat. That's his idea of it. Okay, fine. We'll roll that. We're going to bring in Binu. Poison types don't affect steel. Screw you. Try and bring your poison games now. Hey? Punk. Right, steel wing. Let's do this. Come on. So this folks is steel wing, and as you can see, it's quite dangerous. Yeah, basically what, th if the rest of this guy's just got coughings and other poison types, then yeah, it's not going to last much, it's not going to last long. So Binu's going to gain a, uh, this is going to be a great experience load for Binu here. And I wanted to share it between Binu and, uh, and Nummel, since they sort of train together, but nope. Poison gas, no, no, poison gas doesn't work on a Skarmory, <laughs> yet any steel type Pokemon. Please try and learn that next time. Anyway. Last coughing, Skarmory can evolve to... Evolve? It doesn't bloody evolve. It's going to go to level 26 after this match, if it can win. Against this coughing, it's going to tackle, that's going to do one damage. Steel wing to finish. Yes, and that does finish. Binu gains some experience, and gross level 26. Defense up four. That is why Skarmory is a monster. It's a monstrous wall. Fury attack. Yes, we've got a Shanker in the team, and it's Binu. We're going to get rid of Sand attack, and we are going to learn Fury attack. Thank you. Love experience there, and, gin and Ginger Boy? Ninja Boy Lao. Sorry, I haven't done this for like a month, so... Yeah. I was actually doing uh, Pokemon Stadium, and... Let's play... Uh, Horse Bee Millionaire, and let's play Pokemon Puzzle League. I was doing all of them. Anyway, we just got an effort and we just got a super repel. So that's lively. I should have got ah no never mind. Okay folks, I'm gonna go I'm gonna uh, go heal at the old woman's house. I'm back in here. Actually, folks, there's something we need to show you. If I haven't shown you already. I hope I haven't. Anyway, if you've got the uh, the mark bike, you can go straight up here. Come down here. And there's this guy. You can fight him. I train myself. I challenge all who I whom I meet. You might you might uh, recognize him, or maybe not, because it's the wrong guy. Anyway, this is a uh, black belt Dasuke. He has a matchup. We're gonna go into Binu. Uh, basically, I've changed it around so now uh, Binu, as you can see, is the demolisher, and uh, yeah, Nummel or uh, Etna is being given the. Experience. That's all good. Uncle, I give up. Who's his uncle? Hmm. All I can do is keep training and defeat strong trainers such as yourself. Yeah, you probably won't be able to do that. Anyway, so that's just a nice love, uh, a nice battle, slightly hidden. Anyway, let's carry on. So what I'm gonna do? There's no better time than any to use. Uh, what's well, for 200 steps? We don't have any other repels, so we might... Oh no, we do have a repel. We've got an ornery repel. Lovely. Right, so we are going to use uh, the super repel here. Just so we don't get in any battles. Just to make things a bit quicker. 
this is what most Let's Players use to skip Pokemon battles. And if you skip Pokemon battles, then you skip out on massive experience. And I don't like to do that. Uh, but I know a few Let's Players do, and you know, power to them, but it's not really my sort of thing. Anyway, Numbel Versus Binu. He's sort of taken a lot out of Binu, uh, Binu's arsenal here, because he's a ground type. No, because he's a fire type, because Steel Wing won't do much damage, but we'll be able to beat him with Peck. Binu, the wall that he is. Parasol Lady Madeline, beaten. Huff, huff. I'm exhausted. You only fought one battle, and it was your number that should be exhausted. It's the one I just killed. Ah. Twins. Twin battles. Lovelies. Lovelies. Both of us, we collect ashes. We battle Pokemon, too. You collect ash for a living? Good God. Anyway. Tori and Tia. Wisma and Wisma. Both level 20. Binu and Etna. They've been training together, so let's see how they do as a tag team. Peck, it's a good tag team actually, because one, magnitude. Doesn't affect uh, Binu, does it? But it does affect those two. So yeah, this is the one of the more known tag teams. Have a Pokemon with either Earthquake or Magnitude, and then the other Pokemon being a flying type, or a Pokemon with Levitate. It's a very good combination to use in tag team Pokemon battles. Even in like professional Pokemon uh, battles, people use it a lot. I've used it, for example. I've had a team of, um, what did I have? I think I had a, a Salamence combined with a Garchomp. That's a good combo. Two, by the people who don't, uh, who like zoned out after Gen 2, uh, Salamence is in this generation, actually. Uh, it's a big, big dragon. Four legs, basically like a dragon on four legs. Really good. Um, and then Garchomp is Gen 4. One of the most overpowered dragons. Ground uh, dragon. Brilliant Pokemon. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, one of the most overpowered Pokemon in the game. One of the best Pokemon in the game, which isn't a legendary. Anyway, thanks for finding me, but we still have to battle. Fine. Do, 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 do. Right, Ninja Boy Lung, for, with a Ninkata. Come on, Binu, let's show him who's buff. Sorry, folks, I, I actually had a, um, a, a nostalgia run through today of, like, I went through a little nostalgia thing. I, in my childhood, I watched things like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I was a 90s child, even though that was, I think it was, like, 1980s or something, anyway. So I watched that, and I've just got the voice of Tigger in my head, just like, Oh, sorry, I eyes! I fight all the time! You know, the same voice was sort of used for Sylvester from Sylvester and Tweety Pie. You know what I mean, unless you're like 13 years old and you don't understand, and you don't like, remember. Because your childhood would probably have been stuff like... Ben 10, and... I don't know, like, the worst witch. You had the worst witch, we had Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and that was better. You had iCarly and Hannah Montana, we had Mary Kay and Ashley. Uh, wait. Both as bad. Okay. Well, let's go in here because there's an event we can do here. I think it's this guy. Is it? Uh, nope, it's this person. This area is covered in volcanic ash. Huff puff. I'm especially gifted. Huff puff. I make glasses out of volcanic ash to make items. Huff puff. Yeah. Huff Puff translation down below. Huff Puff, Huff Puff, Huff Puff, Huff Puff, Huff Puff. We obtained the Soot Sack. Yeah. Just take that Soot Sack and walk with piles of, through piles of ash. Huff Puff. And it will fill up with volcanic ash. Huff Puff. Once you think you've collected a good amount, come see me. Huff Puff. Right, now basically what you can do with this is you just uh, walk around. The ash, like now, you notice that it's ash. It's it's coloured a really weird yellowy gold colour. When you walk in it, as you can see, it goes green again. I have now just taken two steps, and I've got two uh, amounts in my soot sack. You get a certain amount, then you can uh, get a nice little item. I'm not going to use that though. I just used it to show you. Anyway, 
Folks, we are going to leave it here because that's 15 minutes and I will see you back here for the next part of Pokemon Ruby where we go to... Hmm, where are we going? We're going to Falibur Town. See you then.